Okay, today we're going to talk about turning Windows features off, removing packages, and removing drivers also. Okay, we're going to first we're going to remove um, turn off Windows features. So we're going to get a list of our Windows features that can be disabled and enabled. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to do DISM brain focus DISM slash get slash image first this is, or or second or whenever, and we do C mount is the folder I have my image mounted to and I go slash get dash features oh shit dash features if I do this I'm gonna get a list like this one but if you notice you scroll all the way up you can't see all of them so what I want to do is I want to create a text file with all this stuff in it so I'm gonna do a space after get features and I, and I do a greater than symbol and I do a path and a name of the text file I want to create. So I'm going to put it on the user on, on, on my desktop. So I do user profile. And I close. And then I go desktop. And I go wake.txt. That's the name of the text file that's going to be created with all that stuff in it. So there's my wake.txt, and it's going to in it it's going to be a list of all this stuff that's enabled or disabled. You can also get a better idea of what all this means if you go to your your currently you know your features that are on and are turned off or on and you can compare it to wake.txt as you can see this is done because we have a cursor there blinking and this is the list of all the features that you can turn on or off we're gonna turn one off right now I'm gonna show you how to do that let's say we're gonna turn off let's say Windows Media Player mm, no not that one Tablet PC optional components. I always disable this. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to turn that off right now. So we're going to do, let me copy this. Tablet PC OC. This is the feature I want to turn off. So I'm going to do DISM slash image again. And go colon C mount slash disabled feature dash feature. And I go slash feature name. Feature name yeah colon and I here I put a name of the feature I want to turn off so I'm gonna paste this tablet PC OC and I hit enter so that's gonna disable tablet PC it's not gonna be all the shortcuts are gonna be removed the program files and stuff okay now I'm gonna show you how to disable like multiple features in like batch mode or something with one single line of code okay you don't have to do this like every for every single feature you want to turn off so we're gonna do multiple ones on with one single line of code. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And this is through. And it's done. Okay, my tablet PC was, you know, the you know, feature was turned off. So this is how you, we're going to do multiple ones in a single line of code. So I'm going to do for i for percentage i in, then I open parenthesis. Let's say which ones are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna do more games. Since the feature name has a, a space, we're gonna put it in quotes. So we open quotes, more games, and we close quotes, and we do space. Which other one we can disable? Let's say internet games. I always disable those. So we open quotes because it has space. Internet games. Another one, optical media disc is, is the DVD, you know, maker. So you go optical. We don't have to put it in quotes because it's one word. Media, D-I-S-C. Which other one we can disable? Internet Explorer. Yeah, let's disable Internet Explorer. So we look for Internet Explorer on the list here because I can't remember the exact name of it. It's Internet Explorer optional and dashes. So I'm going to search for it. Okay, there we have it. Internet Explorer optional dash x86. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. So that's a list of all the features I want to disable. And I close parenthesis. Then I'm going to do do. Then I'm going to put this stuff here. DISM slash disable feature that I just did. So DISM slash disable dash feature. And I do slash feature name. And I quote, I mean colon. Then here I put another percentage i, percentage symbol i. So whatever I, whatever's here is going to get replaced with each one of these, you know, commands. So it's going to go. It's going to do more games, and it's going to do internet games and optical media. This Internet Explorer optional x86. And I hit enter. Okay, I, I had an error in some in one of my lines of code. Let's see. 
what was that? Let's see what I did wrong. For I and more games, internet games. Ah, I forgot the, the image. So I'm going to fix that right now. If you get errors like this, guys, don't don't really worry or panic. You know, it's, it's not going to screw up your image or anything. It's, it just does nothing. So I'm going to do image. I forgot to point it to, to where to where my mount file is, my mount folder. There. Now it should work. Like I said, don't worry about those errors. You know, those, it's not going to screw up your 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 operating system or anything. It's just it's just an error. You can fix it and move on. You don't have to start over again. You know. You don't have to discard your 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 ISO or anything. So first, as you can see, where the I was, it replaced it with Internet Games. Oh, what kind of error? Optical media disk. Which one was it? Oh, what kind of error was that one? I don't know, but I must have misspelled the feature or something. I misspelled the feature. Yes, it's telling me to get features option to find the the, the correct name. So I, I I just misspelled it. So. And that, my friends, is how you disable features in your Windows image. So, when you first install, it's already going to be turned off. As, as you can see here, they're already turned off. It's like internet games. So if you want to turn off all of these, all you have to do is turn off the parent. You know, if I want to turn off games, I just you know I just disable games, and that's going to turn off all this stuff. You know, all of it. So I don't have to do each one of these individually. Um, tablet PC, as you can see, it's turned off here for me. Also, where is it? Tablet PC optional components. So that's how you turn off features. It's pretty easy. Okay, that's it. I think you guys got that. Now we're gonna do a list of packages, which are like you know, it can be hot fixes or local packs or language packs or stuff that the stuff that's installed in the Windows image. So this is how we get a list of that. So we're gonna do DISM slash get packages get dash packages and we're gonna do slash no no yeah slash in index image colon C mount okay we're gonna we're gonna add it to this list wake.txt we're gonna add it we're gonna add it to our to our to our current you know we're gonna up we're gonna append it we're gonna add it we're gonna add the list of packages down here on the bottom of this okay so we're going to do, this time we're going to do two greater than symbols. Because if we only use one, it's going to overwrite whatever is in wake.txt. But we're going to append to it. So we're going to do user profile, close parentheses. Then we're going to do backslash desktop, slash wake.txt. If I only use one greater than symbol, it's going to overwrite the stuff that's in there. But I use two. So it's going to add to wake.txt a list of packages that can be safely removed. It's not many, not very many. So we scroll to the bottom here for a list of features. And this is the list of packages that we can remove with our with DISM. So you, you can see there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six. If you want to unhide some other packages that you that you want to like like that you, that you can remove there's a tool called called install wim tweak so let me go explorer so i'm just open my, my windows aik you know programs folder tools x86 and in here i'm going to put a tool another tool by some guy i don't know his name right now i'm sorry so you copy install Wim tweak and it's runtime 132 security.dll so you copy this into the x86 or x64 depending whatever architecture you guys are working on so I already have that in there so I copy install Wim tweak and 132 security into my x86 folder this is so I don't have to put a path to this you know so I just do install Wim tweak and it knows where it is already and this is how I unhide other packages so you do install Wim tweak underscore whim underscore tweak and you hit enter and it'll, it'll ask you for the for the for the you know for the boot for the name of the mount deer or you can do slash p c mount and slash m I think yep slash m 
slash m. And what that's going to do is going to it's going to tweak you know something a registry hive or something I don't know what it does exactly but it unhides a lot of packages so I'm gonna create another list of packages so right here I'm gonna get I'm gonna get packages again and if you guys you guys are gonna see a, a lot bigger list a lot a lot more stuff you're gonna be able to remove more stuff not just the not just the language packs and local packs you know be able to remove all sorts of stuff there it is my list was finished so if I scroll down all the way here past the features, past the first list, here's the second list of other stuff that I can remove. As you can see, it's a lot, lot more. I'm not going to get into this really because it's it's pretty, it's, 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 a, it's a lot. You know, you're going to have to figure this stuff out for yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just how to remove some basic stuff. What I want to talk about too is I'm going to also put a link. To, to MSFN, there's a there's a packages.xls. I want you to download if you're gonna do extreme removal now. Okay, this is extreme removal. This is a list of all the stuff that we you know that we can remove when you use install after you use install Wim, Wim tweak. You're gonna see all this stuff unhidden. Okay, and the way you you go about reading this, as you can see, what's connected also like like let's say 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 are connected to 1.0. So like if you remove this. If you remove 1.0, it's going to affect 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 and 1.3. So keep that in mind. Okay, so 2.0, if you remove this, it's going to affect 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. So that's how you that's how you use this, you know, this XLS file. So again, you guys are going to have to do a lot of reading and, and you know, and testing and figuring out if you want to do extreme removal. Okay, so for now, we're going to remove some basic stuff. We're going to remove some local packs, which are themes. They're just, you know, themes. So I want you to take into account that a lot of the local packs, they have like the same, the same thing on the end, right? They have like the same, the same hash or whatever you call that. They have like the same thing. So whenever we're going to do our, 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 our one, one line code, we're just, we're just going to use this. Okay, I'm going to show you right now how, how to remove multiple packages in one line. So we're going to do the same as we do with the, with the, with the features for i, for percentage i, in open parentheses and we're gonna copy a list of a couple of them I'm just gonna do two I'm gonna do the Australia themes I'm gonna copy this right here I'm not gonna copy this part because they're both equal I'll show you why and I'm gonna do the Canada one I'm just gonna do these two just for space and I'm gonna paste the Canada one and I'm gonna close parentheses and I'm gonna do do DISM slash remove package slash package name I do colon then I do st you know percentage I then right here I'm gonna paste whatever is the same you know so they have the, this this is the same for both you know so I'm gonna paste the last part and I'm gonna paste it right here I forgot to do slash image so I'll do that last right here it doesn't matter where you put it slash image colon C mount so this is gonna remove two packages in a single you know like in batch mode so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you remove a package. There is removing the Australia themes, and then it's going to remove the California, the, the Canada themes. So that's how you remove packages or hot fixes. Let's say you integrate a hot fix, you can later remove it with this with this command line. So. Okay, now what? Okay, we're gonna do how to remove drivers. Okay, first I want to show you how to integrate an unsigned driver. It's something I forgot to do last time. Okay, so I separate my unsigned drivers from the from the regular drivers when I that I integrate with the slash recurse. You know, so so I don't have any problems. So I separated my unsigned driver. It's a modem driver. As you can see, the the cat file was was signed like like in year 2000, and the rest of the files are like 2004. So it's definitely definitely unsigned. The thing when integrated uns integrating unsigned drivers, we have to specify the INF name. I think it has to, has to add like an exception in the registry for for the INF name or something. So this is how we do. It. So we go DISM slash add driver add drivers slash dri slash driver. Then we do colon. Is it add drivers or driver? Let me see. It's 
Let's add driver. It's single. It's singular, not plural. Ah, shit. Shit. Add driver slash driver. Now we do a path. So you go unsign slash HSP 56. And the name of the INF. We have, to, we have to specify the name of the INF if we want to integrate unsigned drivers. With other drivers, we don't. Then we do slash force unsign. Switch force one word unsign. Is that spelled correctly? Yes. And we integrate it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I forgot slash image. So we go slash image colon mount C mount. And there we go. Again, an error. So I see I got an error. I didn't panic or anything. I just I just corrected my command line. It found one driver and it's it's been integrated su successfully. Okay. Now I'm going to create a list of drivers that are integrated into my uh, my 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 image. So I'm going to do dism slash get drivers. You can you can use the slash all switch, but it'll show you all the Windows drivers that are installed. But I don't recommend it because you can't really remove them or anything. I'm not I'm not sure if you can do it with um. If uh, if after you use install Wimpy, you can you can remove drivers this way with the with the slash remove drivers switch I think you can do it with the remove features but with the remove packages I mean I guess you'll, you guys will figure that out so we do slash get drivers then we're gonna do a path to, to the wake.txt so we're gonna do a greater than symbol I'm gonna overwrite the stuff that's already in there so I'm gonna only use one so I'm gonna do user profile and I close this then I do desktop wake txt oh, I forgot slash image again I always forget this C mount and it's gonna create a list of drivers it's, it's they're only gonna be like two right now because there's one that Windows you know already installed and one the one that I added okay so it's done and I open wake.txt as you can see it replaced all the stuff that was in there because I only use one greater than symbol so as we can see only two drivers are integrated so the one I just integrated and the one that's it, it comes integrated already by default, you know, by Microsoft. It's a printer or something. So we can remove this and this. If you if you use the slash all switch, you're gonna see a lot more, but you're not gonna be able to like remove those. I think if you ins use install Wim2, you might be able to. Okay, so I'm gonna remove. Okay, I want you to take take note of the o OEM name. So it's OEM one. We're not gonna use this. We're gonna use this this name to, to remove it so we're going to do dism slash remove driver slash driver colon oem1 dot inf and do slash image colon mount this is going to remove this driver that I just installed that I just integrated and it's working the driver was successfully removed and if I do a, a, a get drivers again if I do another another get driver list and you'll see that it's been removed there is only one more driver there's an OEM zero so that's pretty much how easy it is guys so you can integrate drivers, you can integrate updates, you can remove drivers, remove updates, you can disable features. What next do we have to talk about? I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about tips. And one final video I'm going to be doing all, all on auto on attend.xml. So I hope I explain stuff well. You know, I, 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 you know sometimes I goof, you know, like, like absent-minded or whatever. But I hope I explain stuff well enough. And uh, I'll see you guys. Adios.